What is proof of stake? Proof of stake is one of those ideas that creates more questions the more you explain it, but it's worth learning about because you personally can make money with it using your Trezor device. So here's what we're gonna do. Instead of a dry technical explanation, which there are already plenty of on the internet, we're gonna use plain language. You might have questions about certain details along the way, which you can always look up afterward. But for now, just accept that these are the ideas you need to understand proof of stake. Idea number one, transactions. I give you money, you give me money, people give money to each other, transactions. Idea number two, blockchains. This idea is built off of number one because a blockchain is just a list of transactions on the internet. A number of transactions go into a block and once that block is full, it attaches to a new block creating a chain. When did we give each other money? How much money did we give each other? It's right there on the blockchain. But wait, who's recording these transactions? How do we know the list on the blockchain is correct? How do we know it hasn't been manipulated? We know because of idea number three, computers. With Bitcoin, for example, we literally use hundreds of thousands of specialized computers to verify thousands of matching lists, AKA the blockchain, to make sure that no one person or computer is changing the record. Everyone agrees that the list of transactions is correct and they prove that it's accurate because of all of the hundreds of thousands of computers that are working to help verify matching copies of the list. This process has a name, by the way, and that name is proof of work. Remember, we're heading towards proof of stake, which is why all of this is important. Proof of work sounds like a confusing phrase until you realize it's just the process I described a moment ago. Computers working to verify transactions on the blockchain and then proving that it's accurate by sharing the matching lists of those transactions with each other. Thousands of matching lists. Proof of work. The big important word here is proof, because when you prove something, you don't need to trust it. That's the nature of proof. No one person, bank, or computer needs to be trusted by anyone because we have proof of the work being done. So we've finally arrived at proof of stake. Proof of stake is a different system designed to do the exact same thing as proof of work, verify transactions. But why would someone do that? Why would someone go to the trouble of creating a new system that solves the same problem? I actually will answer this one real quick. The reason is that there was a group of people that said, hey, you know those hundreds of thousands of computers that spend all day verifying the blockchain? That uses a ton of electricity. So we figured out a way to do the same thing using way less energy. We won't be getting into the debate over energy consumption in this video. All we need to know right now is that that's why proof of stake was created. There are two major differences between proof of work and proof of stake. Difference number one is what we just covered requires less computing power. Difference number two, and the reason for the name, users are required to put their own money at stake in order to verify transactions. Attempting to manipulate the blockchain, record false transactions, penalizes users by having some of their stake funds slashed. The risk of losing what they put down protects the network from bad behavior. But why would someone stake their money if there's nothing to gain from it? They wouldn't. Which finally brings us to the last piece of the puzzle, making money. When you stake money, you make money. A certain percentage of what you've put in based on various conditions. And you can now stake your money to make a return using Ethereum in your Trezor device through our partnership with Everstake. This video is the first of three covering each staking with Trezor, so check out our follow-up videos to learn more.